With the hype around Windows 8, we decided to take a look at the new design and functionality behind the new operating system and how it differs from Windows RT. First, we spoke to Robert Epstein, the lead for Windows 8 in the UK, about the new look and feel. Windows 8 is designed to be very personal, and that starts from the moment you log in, and you log into your machine with picture password. And that allows me to just use some gestures on the screen uh, to a picture I've selected, and it brings me to my start screen. And the start screen, again, is very, very personal. You can see it's alive with live tile information. It's showing me my latest photos, uh, all my contact images, uh, and I can swipe across with this beautiful, fast and fluid motion to see all the applications I've installed. I can use semantic zoom to pinch and zoom out, and I can set this up in any way that I want, drag them all around. And I can pin different things like websites, uh, like my common contacts, straight to the start screen. Um, so all the information I want is there, sort of glance and go way of using it. And of course, one of the other beauties is I have multiple user accounts. So I can uh, log in to different users uh, and they will get their own start screen which they can personalise the colours and the picture passwords and so forth. And then they'll see the applications that they've chosen to install on the screen. The other nice thing about Windows 8 is it's very, very cloud connected. Um, so once I log in with my Microsoft account, all of the information for my email, my calendar will start flowing in from any of the cloud services that I've connected to. I have SkyDrive on here, which gives me seven gig of cloud storage. Then Windows is navigated very simply. If I want to switch between applications, I just swipe in from the side and you can see how quickly that's swiping across. Um, I can also run two applications at the same time. Uh, snap to different parts of the screen. That's really good if you want to maybe have a Skype conversation or watch a video whilst you're doing something else. Um, and then the applications are designed so that as you switch, they know which part of the screen that they're working in and they'll resize themselves appropriately. You can press the Windows button to take me back to the start screen from anywhere, or if I've got a keyboard and mouse, then obviously there's a Windows key on the keyboard that will do the same thing for me. And then finally, the last thing we're talking about is this idea of the charms menu. So if I either point my mouse to the top right or I swipe in from the right, then I get this standard menu which has a start button, always brings me back to start, has my settings, so for every application it will show me the latest settings. And then I've got this idea of search and share. And this connects all the applications, so if I want to search anything, I just use the search charm, and because I was at the start screen, it starts searching my applications, but I could search for, um, you know, some something on my machine, for example, if I'm a football fan, I might want to search for Liverpool, and I haven't got any applications to do with that. And as I change the type of information I want to search for, uh, for example, I could search the news application, it will keep finding any relevant information within the different applications. And the other charm that may be worth highlighting is the share charm, and this I can use to share information. So say I'm in, for example, uh, the sports app, uh, and I found a particular news item uh, about you know, my favorite team that I want to share, You'll notice straight away in this app that it's very full screen, it's really beautiful and vibrant, full of pictures to see. Um, and as I find uh, an interesting story that I want to share with somebody, I swipe out the share charm and it gives me a list of the applications that I can share with. So for example, I might want to email this document to somebody. So that's a couple of quick views of some of the features of Windows 8 that you can get on any of the different Windows 8 hardware now available. It's quite easy to get confused between Windows 8 and Windows RT, but to put it simply, Windows 8 is the full operating system in which you can upgrade, download, or comes pre-installed with any new PC or laptop. And there's also a pro version where you can get a full roster of extra features. And Windows Runtime, also known as Windows RT, is only available pre-installed on touchscreen-based devices from a variety of manufacturers including Microsoft's own Surface. RT has the similar Windows tiled start screen and you can also go from this to the more familiar Windows desktop. It has a few Office 2013 programs pre-installed. You cannot download your own programs, you simply use the Windows Store to download the apps you want to see on your start screen. We like the upgrade to Windows 8 and the price to download is pretty reasonable. Although it takes a little while to get used to the new changes, it seems to be a step in the right direction for Microsoft to compete again in both the tablet and computing market but only a step.